Welcome to the ThunderMax tech support video series. In this video, we will demonstrate some of the additional features available in the new Rider Programming Mode for Throttle by Wire ThunderMax systems. The Rider Programming Mode allows computer-free use of the following features, the configuration library of stored base maps, idle speed selection, speedometer calibration, and clearing auto-tune adjustments. The idle speed selection is used to adjust the specific idle RPM speed setting stored in each ThunderMax base map. This feature allows you to raise or lower the idle RPM within a range of 800 to 1200 revolutions per minute. If larger adjustments in idle speed are required, you must perform this through the TMAX tuner software. The speedometer calibration is used to adjust the speedometer display, allowing you to sync the speedometer gauge display with the true vehicle speed from your GPS. This feature can also be used to compensate for changes made to the bike that would affect the speedometer reading, like larger diameter tires or wheels. Clear Auto-Tune Adjustments is used to clear any learned points generated by the ECM's Auto-Tune function and will revert the fuel points to the initial base map settings. In this video, we will review the idle speed selection, speedometer calibration, and clear Auto-Tune Adjustment features. For information on using the configuration library, please watch the previous video named ThunderMax Tech Support Video Series, Rider Programming Mode, and the Base Map Configuration Library. Accessing Rider Programming Mode. To enter the Rider Programming Mode of the ThunderMax ECM, please follow these steps. While the ignition is on, turn the throttle to the wide open position. Turn the rocker switch on, then release the throttle. The ThunderMax module is now in Rider Programming Mode. The voltage low and check engine light will be illuminated and the speedometer will display 10 miles per hour. Once in Rider Programming Mode, the categories listed can be accessed by twisting the throttle to move the speedometer needle. 10 miles per hour for the configuration map library, 20 for idle speed selection, 30 for speedometer calibration, and 40 for clearing auto-tune adjustments. Fully pull and release the clutch to confirm your selection. To exit Rider Programming Mode, turn the ignition off. Idle Speed Selection The idle speed selection is used to adjust the specific idle RPM speed settings stored in each ThunderMax base map. This feature allows you to raise or lower the idle RPM within a range of 800 to 1200 revolutions per minute. If larger adjustments in idle speed are required, you must perform this through the TMAX tuner software. This setting does not allow adjustment of the cold start idle speed. This is a predetermined setting controlled by the ThunderMax. The speedometer will display the selected idle RPM speed as revolutions per minute divided by 10. The idle can be adjusted in 50 RPM increments with a functional adjustment range of 800 to 1200. Examples of the speedometer display are as follows. 1,000 RPM equals 100 miles per hour, and 950 RPM is 95 miles per hour. The idle speed selection can be accessed from the rider programming mode as follows. While in rider programming mode, twist the throttle to achieve a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour. Fully pull and release the clutch to activate the category selection. The speedometer will display the current idle speed setting in the ECM. Use the throttle twist grip to choose the desired idle RPM speed setting. Roll the throttle twist grip forward or back to move the selection needle. Fully pull and release the clutch to confirm your selection. Turn the ignition off, then turn the ignition on and start the bike. The new idle RPM speed setting selection is now complete. You have either raised or lowered the idle RPM speed setting. The new idle speed setting will be functional the next time the motorcycle engine is started, after the warm-up cycle, where the normal operating temperature is achieved. Speedometer calibration. The speedometer calibration is used to adjust the speedometer reading, allowing you to sync the speedometer gauge display with the true vehicle speed from your GPS. This feature can also be used to compensate for changes made to the bike that would affect the speedometer reading, like larger diameter tires or wheels. 
Before utilizing this feature, true vehicle speed must be recorded by GPS while the speedometer indicates 60 miles per hour. The speedometer calibration can be accessed from the rider programming mode as follows. While in rider programming mode, twist the throttle to achieve a speedometer reading of 30 miles per hour. Fully pull and release the clutch to activate the category selection. The speedometer will display the actual vehicle speed relative to 60 miles per hour. Use the throttle twist grip to choose the actual vehicle speed recorded. Roll the throttle forward or back two times to move the selection needle. Fully pull and release the clutch to confirm your selection. Turn the ignition off, then turn the ignition on and start the bike. The speedometer calibration selection is now complete and you have adjusted the speedometer settings to reflect true vehicle speed. The new setting will function normally the next time the motorcycle engine is started. Clearing Auto-Tune Adjustments The Clear Auto-Tune Adjustments feature is used to clear any learned points generated by the ECM's Auto-Tune function and will revert the fuel points to the initial base map settings. The speedometer will indicate the state of the Auto-Tune adjustments as follows, 70 miles per hour equals adjustments not clear. It is highly recommended that the Auto-Tune adjustments are cleared any time a new base map is selected and loaded from the configuration library. The Clear Auto-Tune adjustments feature can be accessed from the Rider Programming mode as follows. While in Rider Programming mode, twist the throttle to achieve a speedometer reading of 40 miles per hour. Fully pull and release the clutch to activate your selection. The speedometer will display 70 miles per hour, the current state of the offsets. Twist the throttle one time to indicate 80 miles per hour. This selection will clear the offsets. Fully pull and release the clutch to confirm. Turn the ignition off, then turn the ignition on and start the bike. You have now cleared all learned auto-tune fuel points. You are now working with the original base map settings. The Auto-Tune will learn fuel points as needed the next time the motorcycle engine is started. This concludes the Rider Programming Mode and Additional Features Tech Support video covering the idle speed configuration, speedometer calibration, and clearing Auto-Tune adjustments features. We hope you found this video helpful. For more information, please visit our website at www.thunder-max.com.